Only guy week four of the fantasy football season, and his running back starts hit this week. So the start, Bijan Robinson, the Atlanta Falcons. of Robinson, the first two games of his NFL career, he had over 20 fantasy points in PPR leagues. But last week, only 10 fantasy points in a matchup with the Detroit Lions. And now Robinson and the Atlanta Falcons go to London and versus the Jacksonville Jaguars out there. So Robinson, we know he's a good running back. We know he can make all the moves, make defenders miss. And even though if they're coming off a bad ball game, I think this week he has a good one. Here's Bijan Robinson. I wouldn't be surprised to me if he could put up top five numbers at the position this week. So I got him back as a start. Next starts Kyron Williams of Los Angeles Rams. So Kyron Williams, he didn't have a great ball game in week three. After week one and week two, great ball games with over 20 fantasy points in PPR leagues. Week three, though, the workload was down. Only nine carries in the ball game and a few catches. But he was pretty much out there. 90% of the snaps was Tyron Williams. So this week here with a good matchup at the Indianapolis Colts. That's one of the worst teams in the league versus the run here. I think Tyron Williams can have a good ball game versus the Colts. And like I said, he's playing pretty much every snap. He a threat to him down the line this season is Ronnie Rivers. But right now, with a guy just on volume alone and out there on the majority of the plays, I like Tyron Williams to bounce back in this ball game after only having eight fantasy points in week three here and I got him as a star Zach Morris same type of situation staying in the same game here so Zach Morris last two weeks here he's played a whole bunch week two 56 out of the 57 snaps over 20 fantasy points and then a monster workload in week three with 30 carries in that one for 122 yards and he found the end zone so this week here pretty good matchup versus the Rams we saw Joe Mixon in week three have a good ball game versus the Rams and we even saw guys like Kenneth Walker in week one put in decent work as well so right now Zach Morris he's been the workhorse the last two weeks for this Indianapolis Colts team and he's definitely a running back this week that I think could help fantasy owners once again and he's a start next starts from Andre Stevenson of the New England Patriots on paper I know it's a tough matchup with the Dallas Cowboys if there's one Achilles heel though to this defense it's obviously stopping the run and we saw James Conner Rondell Moore run loose in that ball game versus the Cowboys in week three so Ramondre Stevenson we know he's one of the better receiving backs out of the backfield you know Ezekiel Elliott is an amount of work as well I believe versus his former team here in the Dallas Cowboys but like I said Stevenson he could make plays he could run in between the tackles and if the Patriots want to have a chance to win this game they got to establish the run early and often over there on the road at Dallas and I think they can and Stevenson's a start for me Kenneth Walker the next start on Monday Night Football at the New York Giants. So we've seen running backs have great games so far versus the Giants the first three weeks of the season. Tony Pollard was week one, over 80 yards in that one, finally in the end zone twice. Then we saw in week two, a pretty good game from James Conner with over 15 fantasy points. And then obviously in week three, Christian McCaffrey, just another day at the office with 23 fantasy points in PPR week. So right here, Kenneth Walker, I think, is gonna have a good one here for this Seattle Seahawks team and he's one of their better playmakers obviously him and DK Metcalf probably their two best players in my opinion on the offense so this week here versus a week New York Giant defense where they've had trouble versus the run all season Kenneth Walker is a slam dunk start for me this week the next start is Derrick Henry of the Tennessee Titans so Derrick Henry for this year hasn't been great here for Derrick Henry in terms of putting numbers up and last week at the Cleveland Browns he got shut out in that ball game and we just didn't see much here from henry but this week versus cincinnati Bengals, i think he gets back on track i know the Bengals did a good job versus kyron williams in the last game but he honestly didn't get a lot of work in that one to be a guy that you could say he really had a bad ball game said so derrick henry we still knows one of the better backs in the league i know the tennessee offensive line is one of the worst lines in the league no doubt about it but i think derrick henry in this one bounces back and if the Titans want to win ball games, they got to establish the run a little bit more. And this week here versus the Bengals, I think they will. The next starts Rashad White of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Rashad White, it wasn't a great game and a tough matchup versus the Philadelphia Eagles. But this week here, I think he's going to bounce back. This guy definitely could catch the ball out of the backfield. And Baker Mayfield looking for White on a lot of dump offs and small little routes here the few weeks of the season. So this week here in a matchup at division rival New Orleans Saints. And this team trying to bounce back. I think Rashad White could have a good ball game in this one. And he's a number two flex option this week. Running back, I would start Javante Williams 
of the Denver Broncos. So Javante Williams so far, he hasn't looked great in the early going. But a lot of game script is where the Broncos have been down early and often in these games and got to play catch up. But Javante Williams, we know he's a good runner in between the tackles. We know he's coming off the knee surgery, obviously, but he's still the lead back there, even with Samaj P. Ryan in the mix. So this week here with a good matchup with the Bears that obviously they just got torched by that Kansas City Chief offense. Pacheco looked good in that game. Claude Edwards away found the end zone. Jeremy McKinning, two receiving touchdowns out of the backfield. So this week here, I have confidence in Williams, and I got him to start. Now to the hits, Joe Mixon of the Cincinnati Bengals. So Joe Mixon, he looked pretty good on Monday Night Football in that one and find in the end zone but right here tough matchup on paper at the tennessee titans that one of the best teams in the league versus the run and it's just gonna be a game where i think cincinnati's gonna pass a lot because the titans cannot defend the pass at all this season so right now joe mixon after coming off a good ball game but a tough matchup on paper i don't see him doing much here with tennessee and he's a sit for me khalil herbert the next sit for me he's not doing much the bears they're one of the worst teams in the league and they're getting off to poor starts to start the ball games here. So Khalil Herbert, after the first three weeks of the season, the numbers really haven't been there. And I know it could be a ball game where you could run all over Denver. We just saw the Miami Dolphins run for 300 yards in the ball game versus the Denver Broncos. But still, Khalil Herbert is not really a running back I could trust this week. And a guy's not putting up numbers, so he's a sit. Especially the way the game scripts have gone for the Bears this season. Dalvin Cook, another sit. He's been on this list pretty much every week here is Dalvin Cook. And he's not producing the duel. Brees Hall, the last two games, hasn't done much. The shed offensive line, one of the worst lines in the league. And when you got a quarterback like Zach Wilson, obviously, who can't stretch the field, then teams are daring for him to beat their defense by trying to shut the run down and put it all on Wilson. Guys like Dalvin Cook and Brees Hall just can't find running lanes with nine guys in the box of this week in a ball game where the script's most likely the Jets are going to be down 10, 14 points out of the gate here. I can't start Cook and he's a sit. Najee Harris, another sit. I've said sit him the last few weeks as well. And the burst isn't there for Najee Harris and he just don't catch the ball out of the backfield. Jaron Warren, just on an eye test alone, looks like the way better back over there for this Pittsburgh Steelers team. So this week here, Najee Harris, I know it's a decent matchup at the Houston Texans with we just saw Travis Etienne have a great fantasy day but right now he's not a running back I could trust he's not looking explosive at all and like I said Jamal Warren right now is playing good football in the backfield there and he could get even more touches this week the next hits Damian Pierce the Houston Texans so Damian Pierce bailed himself out with a touchdown in last week's ball game but right now Damian Pierce tough matchup on paper versus the Pittsburgh Steelers we just saw Josh Jacobs not really do much versus the Steelers team and this could be a ball game where the Steelers get off to an early start and they got to play catch up is CJ Stroud in this Houston Texan offense the Steelers we know is one of the better defenses in the league especially versus the run and another thing with Pierce the touches have been a little bit down because like I said they're trailing a lot in ball games and he's not that great of a receiver out of the backfield. So this week here with those factors, I got Pierce as a sit. The next hit's Jerome Ford of the Cleveland Browns. So Jerome Ford, he had another good ball game in week two. But the thing that worries me is they're going to a pass-happy type of offense kind of over here is this Cleveland Brown team. With Jerome Ford, yes, he had 10 carries, but only 18 yards of touchdown. And he had a receiving touchdown as well in that ball game that saved him. But besides that, he didn't do much as Jerome Ford. We know so far the last two weeks here, he's had good fantasy numbers. But this week here with a tough matchup versus the Baltimore Ravens. And like I said, this team not running the ball a lot. And Kareem Hunt in the mix. We even saw Elijah Moore get some carries in the ball game. I think it's tough to trust Ford after what we saw in week two. Because if he didn't get those touchdowns, he pretty much was a non-factor in fantasy leagues. With only maybe five, six fantasy points, he would have scored. The next hit, some Alvin Kamara of the New Orleans Saints, Alvin Kamara, he'll come off the suspension, but I gotta take a wait and see approach here with Alvin Kamara. I'm sure people are gonna put him in the starting lineup and think he's gonna go out there and put up 30 points right away, which he could, Alvin Kamara, I'm not questioning that, but that's definitely high expectations for a guy who struggled last season for the most part, and for a player who's been out now the first three games of the season. So right here, this Tampa Bay team, I know they got shredded on the ground, by DeAndre Swift in the week three ball game. But I think this week here, obviously, division matchup, very familiar with Kamara. And we got to see if Kamara's got anything left in the tank. So this week here, first a pretty decent front line, obviously, 
of this Tampa Bay Buck team. Even though, like I said, the Eagles did tread him on the ground, even though they're one of the best offensive lines in the game here. I think Kamara is just a little bit risky this week. And a sit in the final sits Antonio Gibson of the Washington Commanders. Antonio Gibson, it's been a struggle for the most part so far this season here for Gibson. And obviously, Brian Robinson has been the better running back, in my opinion, for this Washington Commander team. A guy can run in between the tackles, can even catch a few passes out of the backfield. And Antonio Gibson at this point, he's pretty much been a passing downs and third down back for this Washington Commander team. With Robinson handling in between the tackles most of the snaps. And obviously, a big physical back at the goal line as well. So right now with all those factors, and a tough matchup for Philly where we just saw them shut down Rashad White for the most part. He's a sit for me, so that's week four running back start sit of the fantasy football season.